Hey everybody, Max Kevin here's Little Kitty Podcast. Not too long. Oh, it's been a while since my last podcast, huh? I think it's been maybe three or four. I don't even know what day it is. Three or four weeks. You know, I've been pretty busy. Last got this last month, you know, I've been pretty busy. Uh, you know, uh, you know, do, doing nothing. Been pretty, been pretty busy. You know, uh, of course I've uh, been, uh, uh, you know. Just had the uh, fat lazy fuck syndrome, you know, or the uh, I don't fucking feel like it, man. I don't fucking feel like doing anything right now. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been uh, performing too much recently, you know. Uh, I'll stand up comedy. I've been performing too much recently. I haven't really haven't really felt like it, you know. I don't know. Been kind of uh. I guess uh, I guess depressed about the comedy career there, you know, or not not depressed, but uh, you know, it's like why why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I don't even why am I making this podcast? Why am I making? What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah, ah, ah. You know, anyway, uh, I did have a set. I did have a set the other day, which was uh, very good. You know, it went very well. Um, you know, so I think I'm actually getting. I think I'm actually like the best the best I've ever been at comedy. Right is right now. I think I'm, I'm finally, uh, when I get on stage there, you know, I'm finally able to, uh, relax, you know, and be my, just be yourself, just be yourself, that's all you gotta do, you just be yourself, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to, you know, change your clothing, change your hairstyle, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything to be with the cool kids, you just gotta be yourself, and people will like you, unless you're a giant loser, then don't be yourself, then try to pretend you're someone else, because no one's gonna like you if you're a giant loser. So don't be yourself, you know. Anyway, uh, of course, you know, uh, comedians kind of have that uh, that mindset, you know, like uh, when you do comedy, it's like, oh, you're supposed to, you're supposed to be your genuine self there. And it's like, well, I don't even, what am, what, what is that? What am I? Am I myself, myself. I mean, the majority of my thoughts are just like, you know, dread, f- like you know, fear and loathing. You know, is that is that? I don't think people want to see that on stage there. You know, so you gotta, you know. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta fake it. You gotta fake it while you're on stage there, you know? So, um, you know, uh, over the, over the, over my comedy career here, you know, I've been doing comedy, uh, I guess, I guess seven years, seven years ago I started. Seven years ago, I started doing comedy. Um, but I think I finally, uh, I finally, uh, you know, been, been able to relax, you know, I guess the first, uh, five years, I just, uh, I couldn't, um, I couldn't relax, I could never relax on stage, you know, I just get nervous, or not nervous, but like an excited, yeah, I guess it was nervous, you know, excited, excited, nervous, you know, and like, you know, uh, you get the fear, you know, you get the fear, you know? so you kind of, uh, you kind of lose your thoughts, you can't remember, you know, you lose track of time, you can't, you can't, you don't know what's going on, you know, you just don't, you don't express yourself how you would, but I finally, you know, I finally, uh, past year or so, I guess I just stopped caring, I guess is what it is, I feel like, yeah, like when I was in San Diego, you know, I just really wanted, I really wanted to do good, you know, I really wanted to have good set, you know, and like the, the better I wanted to perform, the worse I would perform, you know, so now that I don't care at all, I'm performing much better. You know, which is, you know, it's a, it's a catch 22 or it's a, it's a backwards, it's an ironic, it's a, you know, one of those words, it's one of those things where you just finally, you know, I guess it's the same thing with like attracting women, you know, the girls like those, those bad boys that don't care, you know, you can't, you can't go up to a girl and just be like, oh baby, I love you, oh god, you're so hot, oh my god, oh my god, I want to, I want to, oh my god, oh my, baby, baby, oh my, you know, no girl's gonna go for that, you just be like, oh, what's up, baby, I don't need you, but, uh, you know, if you want to. If you want to hang out with me, that's cool. I don't really, I don't need you either way. But if you want to, want to come hang out, that's cool. You know, that's how you uh, attract the women there. You know, you gotta, you gotta feign, you gotta feign. Uh, what's the, uh, you know, you just gotta be cool. You know. Anyway, um, so I think I'm finally, uh, finally be able to. You know, of course, I can always get better. I'm not saying I'm a perfect comedian. I uh, can always get better, but uh, I feel like I've been. Uh, Performing better recently, you know. Got a roast battle coming up in a couple weeks here, you know. I gotta I haven't written any jokes for this, you know. I don't really know anything about the guy I'm supposed to be roasting. Ah, ah, ah. He told me he loves popcorn. We we both have that in common. I also love popcorn. Uh oh anyway, um Yeah, I know I was um 
you know, actually, another another thing too is that a couple people. There's a few people that I knew in San Diego that have like hit real big recently. A few people, you know, and um, I wouldn't say I'm not I'm not jealous of their success, but I guess I guess I'm jealous of their success, you know. <laughs> or I mean, I wish it was. I wish I was also successful. It's, you know, I don't. Uh, all all three of these people that I'm thinking about, they definitely deserved it. You know, they're definitely hard workers. They're they're funny enough, you know. <laughs> they're funny enough, you know, and uh, they're definitely uh, hard workers. And um, but yeah, yeah. This one girl, um, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Kibble's whom? Kibble's whom? Yeah, I remember her. She was uh, she, she's on the uh, she's on the Adam Carolla show there. You know that Adam Carolla's my hero, man. She's gone on the Adam Carolla show. She's on the show like five times. And I was like, hey, I know this girl. She's living my dreams now. I remember her. I remember her from San Diego. She's living my dream right now. Oh God! It, it's. I mean, it's. I wish I was in her body right now, but not. I mean, not like. Not like I don't. I want to be trans or something. I just want. I just wish. I wish I could be on the out of control. But I remember her. I remember her in San Diego. I know she was always putting together shows. She was. Uh, you know, she was hustling, dude. She was fucking hustling, dude. You know, and the other two guys that uh, have have hit real big. It's because uh, they're putting they're putting stuff up like on Instagram. You know. And their 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 uh, their reels are going viral, or whatever you know. They got like a hundred thousand followers now, you know, on the on the Instagram. There, it's like holy guacamole, dude. Holy guacamole, I gotta be doing that. And, my, and uh, another friend of mine too. He uh, he does comics, you know. He was uh, he was at like twenty thousand followers on the Instagram there. Then he started like making some reels, you know, and like a couple of them went viral. Now he's got like eighty thousand, eighty thousand. Holy guacamole, dude! It's like what am I doing, you know? What am I doing with my life? I gotta start. I just gotta start making some Instagram reels, you know? And I guess I guess that's uh what I've always known is that you gotta you gotta produce, you know? If you wanna if you wanna be a popular comedian, you gotta produce, you know? You gotta be making podcasts, you know, making comics, making making reels on Instagram. That's I guess I guess that's really what it is. It's the TikTok. TikTok is not so uh I don't I don't know anyone who's gotten success on TikTok. But Instagram reels, holy guacamole, dude. Instagram reels, YouTube, uh, YouTube shorts. That's the, that's the if you want to be a if you want to be a famous comedian, that's the way to go, you know. But of course, as the great Ron White said, you know, when Ron White, uh, Ron White, the comedian, when he became famous, you know, he had already been a comedian for like twenty years, right? So he already had like two hours of material, you know. So, like some of these guys that become like Instagram famous or YouTube famous, or whatever, you know, you go to their show and they're just terrible stand-up comics, you know, because they don't have that skill, you know. So, uh, so uh, I mean, it's good I didn't become famous five years ago. Because I definitely didn't have the skill. I still don't. I still don't have. I don't have an hour. That's for sure. I might have. I might have forty minutes. I might have forty total minutes. You know. But if ever. You know. If my fucking reels. You know. But anyway. Anyway. So I just. Uh, you know. I've realized what I've already already. I did, it wasn't a realization. I, I always already knew it. Is that you gotta. You gotta. You gotta produce. You know. You gotta make content. That's what. That's what it is. It's, it's all about making content. You know. And. uh you know, so I gotta, I gotta get off my fat, lazy fucking ass and make some content again. You know, I haven't, I, I made one comic this whole year, this plus six months. I made one comic. I don't know why I stopped. I just got, I don't know. I just ran out of ideas, I guess. I just ran out of ideas, I guess. And uh, I don't know how about I do? You know, I, and I was looking at, <laughs> I was looking at my YouTube channel. Like I, uh, yeah, I posted a, uh, a clip from uh, one of my roast battles, and it got me like thirty subscribers, which was. That was pretty cool, you know. And then I was looking at my my YouTube studio there. I was looking at like my mo- my most viewed videos and stuff <laughs> for my, for my podcast. And uh, there's a couple videos that constantly get the most views. And uh, one of them one of them is called uh, "I Penciled in an Orgy with Ten Big Titty Blonde Girls," and uh, that's the one where I'm making fun of the Federal Reserve for penciling in rate hikes two years in the future, you know. And uh, that's my best performing, that's one of my constantly best performing videos is the one that has a uh, big titty orgy in the title. Because apparently a lot of people on YouTube are searching for big titty orgy. And, uh, uh, well, uh, you know, just like the uh, serial killer kid who uh, who tried to search for child porn on Google, I don't think you can find big titty orgies on uh, on YouTube there. You know, probably want to go to Pornhub, you know, maybe or... Uh, Cause I don't think they have too many big titty orgies on the YouTube there, you know. I don't know, maybe they might, you know. And then of course uh, I have a, you know, I have a few videos called, uh, you know, 
someone someone is a is a little pussy bitch you know i have a, a few videos like that like lebron james is a little pussy bitch and tucker carlson's a little pussy bitch and uh who else uh fucking i don't know i can't remember exactly but uh, i have a, i have maybe four or five videos called someone is a little pussy bitch you know where i make fun of them for being little pussy bitches and uh those videos also get a lot of hits so apparently a lot of people on youtube are searching for pussy bitch so i don't know <laughs> oh oh youtube oh youtube why don't they just have I mean, I guess they have that other website, you porn, right? I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. I gotta make some. Po- I gotta make some comics. Just called like "Big Titty Pussy Bitch Orgy." I think that's what I'll do. I think that's that's gonna be the name of this podcast, "Big Titty Pussy Bitch Orgy." We'll see how many hits it gets. Hopefully a lot. Hopefully a lot. You know. Uh. Okay, one last thing there, one last thing there, you know, I haven't, uh, since I haven't made a podcast in a while, and of course the last one I made, I hadn't made in a while either, you know, so I ended up talking for like 40, 45 minutes, and uh, I figured, uh, you know, you know what I should probably do, I should probably just uh, stick to the stick to the format of the Little Cutie Podcast and make them shorter, you know, so even though I have more to talk about today, I'm just going to cut this one short, and then I'll record another one, and then I'll upload it tomorrow, and y- you won't even realize that I recorded them on the same day, but uh, it'll, because it'll be coming out the next day, you know, but you won't even... You won't even know through the magic of editing. You'd be like, when did he record these? When did he record these? He said it was Tuesday, but now it's Saturday. I don't even know what year it is. Oh, anyway, thanks for making the little bit. Have a do. See you tomorrow.